Hey guys, John here with Solar Edge Pros, and I'm going to do a review slash reaction to Marquez Brownlee's video explaining his Tesla solar system. Hi, my name is Marquez Brownlee, and I have not paid for electricity in a year. I have a bunch of electrical appliances, computers, game console, TVs, air conditioning, and I drive an electric car to and from work every single day and charge at home zero dollar bills okay so what he's saying is 100 percent accurate this is one of the biggest reasons for going solar i'm pretty much on the same boat minus the ev and the ev charger so i have had solar panels on my roof at home for the past 12 months now did you notice his panel setup he actually does have solar shingles or some people call them solar tiles we actually have a video on why solar shingles are not ideal for texans and if you want to go ahead and look at that it'll be in the description below and I waited this long specifically because now I've seen all four seasons and I've observed a wide variety of performance and I've run all the numbers and I have a lot of thoughts about them. So I want to share them. So due to his circumstances, he's had a new build house and he wanted to give it the full 12 months to see what his energy usage is, which is smart. But granted, most homeowners actually have been in their homes for longer than that and they already know. So when it comes to getting a solar consultation done, as long as we have a bill, we can project what you've been using, your highest usage, and also your lowest usage. A normal house is connected to the electrical grid, and whenever something in the house, whether it's a light bulb or a computer or an appliance, calls for electricity, it pulls from the grid. His explanation on how solar works and net metering, granted net metering works different per utility company, but he tackled it really well. He knows what he's talking about. There's a thousand different combos that you could piece together with different companies with different offers in your area to make something that works. I kind of went with kind of a crazy, but also a made sense solution, which is just one company for everything. Yes, you can absolutely run multiple options like he states, but having one solid company is ideal just because you know that you're working with that one company and they're not gonna go anywhere. Now he did choose Tesla and Tesla is a highly renowned company around the world, but Texans listen up. If you do wanna go solar and you wanna see some options, go ahead and give us a call at 210-401-9030. Let's get back to the video. From there, not gonna lie, it is quite a process. There is a lot of uh, of paperwork and hoops to jump through. Also with Tesla's, they've been kind of in and out of reliability. Like over the years, they've been on and off with actually making this product. They've paused installations for a while. It was briefly canceled and then it came back and there were supply chain issues. I remember reading about all this and I was kind of worried, uh, but for whatever reason, when I ordered, which was in 2021, basically everything went perfectly smooth as well as it could have gone now this is a huge issue that we've discussed time and time again in our over 17 years of solar installations in texas and it is the solar tiles not being ideal plus the tesla wait times while we do specialize in end phase installations and we do love how end phase has their solar system set up we do understand and we have seen clients get upset and just not want solar in general because Tesla has a long wait time and that's really the brand that they wanted. When you're first trying to get an estimate, you actually submit your address and they go look on Google Images and look at your roof with satellite imagery and give you an initial quote. Then once you're locked in and you decide you want to go through with it, they'll actually come to your home with professionals and actually measure it and then give you a precise real quote. The quote system that he mentioned is really awesome. We have one ourselves. If you're a Texas resident, you can go to estimate.solaredgepros.com and it takes the Google Maps and it goes over your roof and it sees where the max sunlight hits. But you know, it's just an estimate and it just gets you started into the solar process. So if you want an accurate price point, feel free to give us a call, okay? For me, the process I started when I signed the purchase agreement, which was in November 2021, and finished with the activation of the system in July 2022. So eight months. Now, eight months is a long time. Even from a fellow local solar installation company, most projects take weeks. You're comparing weeks to eight months on here. That is crazy. Two absolute biggest draws of electricity in this house by far, and I think probably with a lot of others, are number two, air conditioning, and number one, by a country mile, is charging the electric car. No doubt, the HVAC, the EV chargers, even swimming pools, a lot of that stuff is real heavy on your electricity usage. See if it was really worth it and see if it's actually good. So let's start with the money question here. The This, like I said, was nowhere near the cheapest possible option, of course, going with solar panels 
and batteries, a lot of different possible setups. So my setup with the solar tiles, all of the materials, all of the labor, installation, everything, and the three batteries, everything together was $120,948.04. And four cents. Wow, 120,000 is super expensive, guys. But it is important to consider that he did go bougie when he did his solar panel system setup. And on top of that, he is paying for a high end brand name. Not necessarily the best. And if you all are curious, we did do a Tesla Powerwall versus the Enphase 10T whole home backup here. All in all, though, he did pay extra for the brand name. And so, with all things considered, it's a fair price. And for those of you that are wondering, the tax credit is 30% off the entire system cost. Payoff in the investment is the overall mindset when deciding whether or not you want to sign that dotted line. And like he states, he could have 100% gone with the lower solar option with less production and coverage. We've had clients get an average setup, end up using more than they expected during the Texas summers, and just add on to their system after. So it is not uncommon for people to do that. When going solar, we make sure that we cater everything to your financial needs and make sure you get your ROI as quick as possible. Lastly, of course, you guys, if you live in Texas and you want to go solar and you have any questions, give us a call at 210-401-9030. I will put some links in the description to kind of give you all a general idea of how we do things, the services that we offer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more things like this, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.